Hello and welcome back to our PTZ Camera Operator Handbook. One of the important chapters I wanted to include in this online course and video series is the ability to remotely control and produce video from around the world, whether that be from a PTZ camera or a myriad of awesome new innovations that are available today. Let's get into it. So remote production is incredible. And whether that means we're remotely controlling a camera or remotely controlling our production, that's what we're talking about in this chapter. But I did want to mention that we've gone over so much great stuff in this online course, how to control a camera, the different types of PTZ controls, what a PTZ camera is. So much has been covered in this book. Get a copy of the book, print it out, download it, get a copy on Amazon and follow along because there's just some awesome stuff happening with PTZ camera controls, PTZ camera operation, and in general, just the cloud, the wide area network. And we talked about innovations in video production in our last video. And now I really want to talk about the cloud and the wide area network and what is happening. What are the tools that are enabling video production widely? Now, the, when we talk about the cloud, we are talking about using the cloud, the internet, using tools that are basically servers in the cloud that you can stream to and they can become your video production studio. And what that allows you to do as a video producer is decentralize everyone from the expensive mobile or studio, television studio style space and start to disperse your team all throughout the world. And that has some incredible benefits. So you can just stream all your cameras. Imagine you have SRT video coming from your PTZ cameras or NDI video working with the NDI bridge, get them to the cloud, and then you can mix them together. You can use the different sources, mix audio and video, do social media sharing, video overlays all in the cloud. You don't need an expensive video production studio. So to me, that's incredible. Here's one example I want to share that kind of blows people's minds when they see us do this in our studio. And it's just something that you should know you are capable of doing. Let's say you want to go out on the road and you want to stream video from a anywhere. You just need to go out and capture something. Well, Live View makes a mobile cellular bonded system that allows you to stream from anywhere in the world. It's cellular bonding technology. It bonds multiple cell phone connections together and makes a reliable streaming system that you could send to a cloud-based streaming service like Easy Live. And then you can also send RTMP, a video stream from your studio. This would be instead of going directly to Facebook or YouTube, now what you can do is you can switch between your video production software, whether that be vMix, Wirecast, or OBS, and you can switch to a mobile broadcast in the cloud and maintain one stream on Facebook or YouTube. Now you take that idea and you can spread that out into many different opportunities. For example, maybe you have multiple studios that are contributing video or multiple people out in the field streaming to you. This is what television studios do and it's all available in the cloud at very low monthly rates. So really cool stuff. And I wanted to take a look directly at Easy Live to give you guys an idea, if it's the first time you've never seen this, I'm streaming this presentation right now to Easy Live. And what you can do is you can create inputs, whether it be a webcam on your computer or a screen capture, or literally an encoder, one of those like Live View backpacks, um, SRT, RTMP. It's incredible all the different options for bringing live video in but also video clips, images, web pages, social media templates, et cetera, and then mixing everything in the cloud. It's just, it's really incredible what you can do. From a publishing standpoint, you can send an unlimited number of streams out. So instead of being restricted by the internet that you might have, we've got Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and you can stream all of those at the same time even going to like an SRT server endpoint. Um, you can also take clips and recordings. So you can record 
certain portions of your segment and then post them directly to YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, for example. Really, really cool stuff. Oh, I guess I can't record stuff because I'm not streaming this. I don't want to stream this anywhere. But just, just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like to be doing cloud-based video production. It's really, really cool stuff. Just wanted to give you a high-level look at that. Another thought, too, besides Easy Live, which is one, Grabio is another. There's SRT servers that you can use, and there's smartphone apps on a smartphone that can run free software like SRT. Uh, there's one called Larix Broadcaster that's highly recommended in the broadcast industry. And it allows you to send really high quality video right from a smartphone directly to an SRT server. So really, really cool stuff that you can do with cloud-based video production and creating things that used to take an entire television studio. Now, in our last video, we talked about SRT over the public internet. So I'm going to breeze through this. But essentially, you, know, you can send SRT videos over the cloud to a remote studio. So that is pretty incredible. And we've also talked about the NDI bridge a little bit. I wanted to spend a moment on this as well. In beta currently, as we are recording this video, but I understand it's coming out of beta very soon. And what it does is it takes all of your NDI video sources. Let's say you're setting up a small video production uh, to set up and stream something, maybe three or four PTZ cameras. They have NDI. You plug them in and the NDI bridge is enabled on a computer that you have. You can send it over the public internet to another studio or remote production location over the public internet and then receive all of that video, control all of that video and use it on your local area network as if the two were connected physically with a local area network. Now, the cool thing about NDI and one of the reasons why I find it more attractive than SRT is that NDI is bi-directional. It does include support for pan, tilt, zoom control of PTZ cameras. SRT does not. Um, it does support control for tally and metadata and things of that nature, which really make the two sides bi-directional as if they are being used together. So here's an example of NDI Bridge in action. Let's assume you've got three PTZ cameras on one side, and you've got an NDI Tally Light system to the new NDI Tally Light controller, and you've got a network switch, and all of that is connected to the NDI bridge on both sides. And there's two different routers, right? Two different internet connections connected to the wide area network in the middle there. Well, on one side, on the far right-hand side, you could have the NDI video on your computer. Maybe you're using it with vMix. Maybe you're using it with Wirecast or OBS. And you've got a PTZ Optic SuperJoy. Well, the SuperJoy can now control those cameras that you're viewing that are around the world, somewhere, anywhere in the world. As you're using those cameras, the tally lights will turn on so that people know in the studio which camera's live in a multi-camera studio environment. So this is really, really cool, groundbreaking stuff that you can play around with today if you have a PTZ camera and access to NDI tools. So just very, very cool stuff. The key takeaway, again, with these two, uh, two technologies of SRT and NDI SRT is really for the public internet, going over the wide area internet, NDI for the local internet, and then the cloud, cloud-based subscriptions like we talked about for with EasyLive.io and Grabio, those mix all of these technologies and give you everything in the cloud so you don't have to invest in a super expensive computer, but you do have to pay a monthly fee. So we're seeing a lot of that, this transition to the cloud, enabling you to do a lot more on a lower budget upfront. Um, and using cloud computing to do so. It's a very exciting time to be in the video production industry. Let's keep going on our Pan Tilt Zoom Camera Operator Handbook. We now know a heck of a lot about how to use PTZ cameras, and we're looking towards the future, towards the cloud, towards innovations that are pushing the industry forward. We're, I'm just so excited that you guys got to join me in this online course. Let's keep going.